Following Tunisia's disappointing exit from the Gabon 2017 African Nations Cup and the two successive defeats in friendly matches, the Tunisian Football Federation sacked head coach Henry Kasperzak. Kasperzak is a good coach, but he was unable to guarantee good results as he did in 1996. The Tunisian Football Federation has evaluated the participation to Gabon 2017. The team also lost friendly matches last month against Morocco and Cameroon. It was impossible to reach a settlement, so we decided a separation. The Tunisian Football Federation is now looking for the right candidate to lead its national team. In the next three months, we'll play decisive matches to qualify for the 2018 World Cup. We're negotiating with potential coaches, and it's our responsibility to select the right coach for these challenging tasks, as Tunisians want results. Many sports journalists believe that the selection of the next national head coach does not only depend on his qualities, but also on the Football Federation's budget. I think the new national team coach will be Tunisian. A Tunisian coach can manage the team in this difficult phase. In addition, the contract of any good foreign coach will cost too much. When the budget is limited, options are also limited. In 2015, Henry Kasperzak returned to Tunisia with the ambitious project to win the African Cup of Nations and to qualify for the World Cup. However, the 70-year-old man failed to make sufficient progress and paid a heavy price. In 2004, Tunisia won the 24th edition of the African Cup of Nations. Since then, all national teams and coaches have failed to realize the Tunisian dream of a new African title. Adnan Shoshi, CGTN, Tunis.